。嗨，多多是好，欢迎来到 p h o n i p h o n i x 自然音标。p h o n i p h o n i x 自然音标的课程，今天老师为你介绍的是 Vocabulary of the Day。Vocabulary of the Day。同样的，今天我们还可以到我们的 CN.com。Let's go to CN.com。然后我们按 money 啊，我们按这个 money 之后，我们可以到找到一些新的文章。那今天老师找到一个文章，还蛮有趣的啊，我们可以来看看它的 title 啊，那就是说 The city where millennials millennials can wait to leave. The city where millennials can't wait to leave. The city where millennials can wait to leave. 那当然，我们把这个文章打下来哈，按一下 click the on the headline news。好，我们就可以找到这篇文章。那当然，这个文章的 headline news， 我们来 squatters paradise. So two millennials dream Berlin's real estate boom. 好，就是我们今天的这个文章。啊，大家跟老师念一下 ，Squatters Paradise to Millennials Dream Berlin's Real Estate Boom. One more time, Squatters Paradise to Millennials Dream Berlin's Real Estate Boom. 好的，那我们来看今天篇文章。啊，大概是我们讲些些哈啊,啊，这个房地产的跟房地产有关的故事。好，那当然。我们来看看啊，大概啊，这个在这个德国这个柏林哈、啊，柏林哈、啊、的房地产相关的有什么关联的一些新闻 ？Headline news for the、啊、CNN news today: Berlin, Germany, CNN for decades, Eastern Berlin was a low-cost heaven for creatives like freelance filmmaker Katrin Rose. I first live here for free. Rose said, "You didn't have to think about lifestyle and making money." Then, that free spirit vibe remains very much part of the attraction for the forty thousand or so new residents who move into the city each year. 好的，想要做进阶阅读的同学们，你只要打这个文章。Squatters Paradise to Millennials Dream Berlin's Real Estate Boom. 好，就可以找到这个文章。好的，那我们来看看这文章的最主要的这句话 ：The city where millennials can't wait to leave. The city where millennials can't wait to dream to leave. Sorry. The city where millennials can't wait to leave. 好的，今天一样，我们有两个单词，我们要做一些练习啊。同学们可以听听看，再能把它拼出来。Let's go for the two vocabulary words. Let's try listen and spell the words. And the first vocabulary words: millennial, millennial. Millennial, millennial. Okay, let's go for the second vocabulary words of the day: estate, estate, estate. Okay, students, let's repeat the pronunciation for the first vocabulary words again. Millennial, millennial, millennial.、And、second vocabulary words of the day: estate, estate, estate. Okay, students, let's check the vocabulary words. See if you get a correct spelling. Millennial. Millennial, millennial, estate, 
state, a state. Okay, now we can check it. Oh, let's go for. Let's discuss the spelling, pronunciation, and definition for those two vocabulary words using spelling B technique, make a mechanic and skill. First vocabulary words: millennial, millennial, millennial. Definition of millennium in English adjective denoting or relating to a period of southern years. The current increase in hurricanes is only a small fluctuation within this longer millennial cycle. More example sentences. Less than a decade later, Martin Luther began the Reformation, and religious wars dragged Europe down to a millennial law. Let's repeat the pronunciation and spelling for the first of every words again. Follow me this time. Millennial. 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 Definition of millennial in English adjective. Denoting or relating to a period of thousand years, the current increase in hurricanes is only a small fraction fluctuation within this longer millennial cycle. More example sentences. Less than a decade later, Martin Luther began the Reformation, and religious wars dragged. Europe down to a millennial law. Now check with the second vocabulary words, spelling, definition, and oh well, spelling, information, and the pronunciation. I check that estate, estate, estate. Definition of estate in English: noun, an area or amount of land or property in particular. Example sentences: And when Martha Ray died three years later, she left most of her multi-million dollar estate to him, not to her only child. Origin: Middle English in the sense state. Or a condition, from Old French "estate," from Latin "statue," state condition, from "stair" to "stand." Okay, let's check the vocabulary words again. Estate, estate, estate. Definition of estate in English: none. An area or amount of land or property in particular. Example sentences. And when Martha Ray died three years later, she left most of her multi-million dollar estate to him, not to her only child. Origin: Middle English in the sense state or condition. From Old French, estate. From Latin. Statues state condition from stair to stand. 好的，同学，让我们用自然音标的方式来解释两个单词。第一个 ，millennium， millennium， millennium。首先，这个单词，好，我们先把它分成三个音节，而且它重音在第二音节。那这个字呢？我们来，我们看 m i l l e n n i a l。那注意一件事 ，a l 通常是一个次音节的字哈，它是一个我们讲说它是尾音哈啊 ，suffix。那尤其我们看 i a l 的时候，一定会分成两个音节，啊啊，一定会分成两个音节，所以不用怀疑哈。那在这个地方 n 跟 n double n 的时候，我们再分一次，啊，再分一次 ，double l 的时候，我们再分一次
啊，所以我们就分成像这样子音节。但我们看到它的拼法哈，啊，它是念 m e l a n 啊啊 m e l a n 啊，就是我们看音标啊，它是 neo。那它在它在字典上是没有分开来，不过我先跟你讲哈，由于我们念的时候会念 n e a 所以我们必须要把它分开来。好，所以这是一个字典，我们讲的物质比物哈。所以在第一个音节我们是弱母音，所以 m e 啊，那 double l， 那我们看它的重音在第二音节，所以我们有 o n s e t o n s e t l n u c l e a r s e。c o d a n， 所以这时候形成一个什么 C V C 的组合 ，m l a n n e w 啊，所以重音在第二音节 C V C， 短母音 l a n 那这时候 n 重复嘛，我们看一下这 n 重复，所以我们只要记得 a l 的时候都是 o， 好，那这时候这个 e， 我们拉出来一个弱异音。啊 ，e 有 ，e 有，所以我们称这个叫做 i 发出 e 有哈 ，e 有永远是这样念的 ，e 有，好，所以有些字也会把它分成两个音节，像刚刚我们看的这个 Oxford 没有把它分开来，因为他认为 n i l 是一个啊、呃、是一个 suffix 的这个尾根的这个组合，所以他没把它分开，但是以念的时候它是分成两个音节来念，所以 l a n i o 我们就看后面 l a n i o 所以前面 mill millennial millennial 再一遍啊 millennial 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 啊 millennial 啊再一遍哈，再念法。再来我们看第二个单词 estate estate 就比较好玩了，因为我们知道 state。它是啊、呃、一个音，它是一个单字，它是名词代表啊、呃、代表一个地区哈、啊、一个省哈、啊，然后在美国的话它就是一个州，但是我们看它的音标是 estate 啊，它把它一样又把它直到另外一个地方了哈，好、啊啊，所以这样子我们来讲哈、啊，如果你这样背可能会容易背一点，你这样背的话可能有人可能会想说，哎奇怪，这样好奇怪了，应该 state 不就是一个。啊，我们讲这个 state 啊 ，state statues state 不就是一个呃，在拉丁的话就是已经已呃已经是一个字了吗？为什么要把它移过去？啊，因为来说哈，呃，有些字典它确实会把它做一个位移哈，所以我们称这个这个、叫做一个位移，因为它希望你是从 state 啊这个字来这样念，它又把它位移过去哈。啊，所以它重音在第二音节，所以我们看 e i n t e r p o n 啊 ，e s i n t e r p o n t a t e， 啊，第二个音节它就因为移位移过来了，所以之后我们就看 o n s e t 啊 ，t nucleus a c o d a 就是 t e， 啊，所以 estate。就是形成什么 ？V C E， 所以念长母音 ，T， 所以什么 ？State，Estate，Estate， 落母音开头 ，Estate。好的，我们接下来念这两个字 ，Millennial，Millennial，Millennial，Millennial，S。State, estate, estate, estate. 啊，所以尤其第二个哈，要自己稍微记一下，不是 e in the past state， 是 e s in the past state. Millennial 哈，啊，这当然这个地方可以多一个哈，把它分开，因为我们看啊，有也没有照我们的 I P A 的规则哈，两个母音，两个音节哈。好，来我们看今天如果同学们啊、呃、喜欢老师呃的讲解方式，可以跟老师做个朋友啊，你可以 Google Plus David T T I N G A D A Google Plus David T T I N G A D A， you can be my Google Plus friend， 
or you can write gmail davidtding88 at gmail.com you can line me david t1688 168 okay these are the genius of vocabulary of the day she's going to go some